Chapter 3. The Darkness of Les Invalides. Les Invalides. That's how you say it. Alright. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, episode, what, 5? I think. Les Invalides. Yeah, I probably will totally not remember that ever. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if anybody's French and watching this or like knows anything about Paris and is watching as like uh yeah so you're you have no idea what you're saying so, I don't I do not nope mystery incident and this was the theft of that casket maybe there are some clues to be found at Les Invalides get to the bottom of this mystery and I'm just made just by my dad Pandu to Les Invalides Huh? Oop, there's the sound of a trash can right there, apparently. How about that? Um... So, let's see. I'm sorry, can you spare a moment? Huh? Me? Pleased to meet you. I'm Colette from the Eiffel Bugle. I'm doing a piece on the sensation of this phantom art, and I need an opinion from the street. Click, click. You mean right now? Phantom Art exploits have shocked Paris and the world. So, do you think he does it for the money or just for fun? Uh, g gee, I, I don't know. We've heard that he broke into the Louvre the other night and stole the bracelet of Tiamat from the Mesopotamia exhibit. Do you think that's acceptable behavior? If you could say one thing to Phantom Art as a citizen of Paris, what would it be? Uh, sorry, but I'm kind of busy. Sorry, but I'm. Huh? That's a funny thing to- Hey, wait! We're not finished! Hopeless! I'm never gonna get a front page scoop at this rate. Unless... I could interview Fenimar in person! <laughs> you recorded the camera. Um... I mean... You were interviewing Phantom R in person. I love how she just- I, I love how people just don't know that you are Phantom R. Like... Really. <laughs> That dog of yours is a real charmer, and I should know. I see my share of pets as I jog through the city. Happy for you? I guess? Alright, let's just keep moving on. I'll find the phantom notes at some point. This is the place. Les Invalides was converted to a military museum. The casket of Napoleon sleeps within. Gotta wonder what secrets sleep with it. Huh, Fondu? Well, no point in sitting here wondering. Let's get to that casket. Onward into Les Invalides. So this is Napoleon's casket, huh? It's pretty big. How could anyone even move this? Ruff. What's that, Fondu? You're catching the Chevalier scent from beneath the casket? How is that even possible? The casket won't even... Huh? Looks like an old trick lock. So we connect the ends on both ends. Let's open it up and see what's below. Solve the riddle of the coffin. Rotate tape the panels to create a path linking the left side to the right side. Oh great, and you have to do it in rhythm. I suppose it makes sense wouldn't be a rhythm game unless it was in rhythm, right? There you go. This isn't Evo Land 2. I don't have to make it go across every single square. <laughs> An underground passage. What could they be doing down here? Hey, Fondue. Don't be scared. Let's check it out. Oh yes, this leads to one of my favorite rhythms. Like, there's a lot of really good ones. Then there's a couple that I I don't know. Amazing, the passage just keeps going. I can't even see to the end. Looks like trick or, tricky footing from here. At least we're getting to the bottom of this mystery, literally. Oh, I have to do this one first. I forgot about that. Advance to the subterrain. Press the A button to jump off platforms. So I don't need my uh, stylus for this. Let's just 
tapping the A button. Not sure how I missed those. I love how he just like flies through the air on some of these. I mean, aren't we basically just going in circles? Sure feels like we're going in circles. Or maybe it's just a really, really long hallway that just goes straight endlessly. I got talking. Completely failed to concentrate. Oh crap. Tia Luna. I got, the, oh my god, if you get off rhythm, it's so hard to get back on rhythm. Gosh, 12? Oh my god, that was so bad. I'm never going to get the bonus mission that requires you to A rank all the uh, missions at this rate. These are the catacombs, a sprawling underground graveyard beneath the streets of Paris. And the torches are a sure sign that someone else is down here. It's them! The Chevalier's Diabolic! You hear that Graf is coming? All the way to our hideout, no less. We must be more worried than we thought. Graf? Didn't that name come up in the Investor Inspector Vergier's case files? He's too worried, if you ask me. Even Paris's finest would never think to look beneath a less invalid... However you say it, that's not right at all. I know that. Regardless, he needs to feel welcome and respected. Understood. Looks like they're gone. Let's keep on, Fandu. Eh? Oh, I apparently just recorded the sound of the torch. I didn't... There. Realize that was a sound. That's Napoleon. There's someone standing behind him, but it's too dark to see. You've done fine work, and your efforts shall be well rewarded. Anything to contribute to my emperor's glory. That voice sounds awfully familiar. We must recover what I have lost as rapidly as possible. Two more treasures are required to complete the dragon crown. Yes. The Queen's Pendant and the Cross of the Sun King. I knew it! It is him! Father! Fantomar! What are you doing here? Who were you just talking to? Oh, does your impertinence know no bounds? Do you understand the predicament into which you have now fallen? Do you realize how like the bleating lamb flung in amongst the lions you are? Now return what you have taken before I am obliged to ask you yet another rhetorical question. Give me what you took from Notre Dame. What are you waiting for? Apprehend him! Alright, here we go. Defeat the Chevalier's Diabolic. So this is just like that last one that we did, that one that we did where it was the control pad and the A button. But this one has an awesome mechanic to it. Just watch.
I almost missed that. Shoot! I love that. I love how he like becomes disoriented and they slow down the music but speed up the enemies to kind of make you feel disoriented but still fitting perfectly into the rhythm. I love it. That is like the coolest mechanic of that particular fight. That was my dad's voice. What is he doing with these people? They're after Napoleon's treasure, right? And if my dad's with them, they'll be making a good time. Which means we have to get there first. Alright, Pandu. I'm tracking Dad down and getting to the bottom of this once and for all. Two more treasures left until the dragon crown is complete. The Queen's Pendant and the Cross of the Sun King. First, Let's look for the Queen's Pendant. Not that we can exactly go door to door asking if anyone's seen them. We need an antiquarian, Fondu. It just so happens I've read an article about an antiquarian at the Sorbonne. Let's check it out, Fondu. Head to the Sorbonne. Once again, I am probably horribly pronouncing that, but what can you do? <laughs> We've made it to the Sorbonne, but how do we find an antiquarian? This place is huge! No sense wandering aimlessly. Let's start at one end and ask our way to the other. That guy's asleep. An antiquarian? You want the fellow to stay sleeping over there. He's our professor. Huh? Seriously? Do you want him for something in particular? I should warn you. Once he falls asleep, he's hard to wake up. I've actually never seen him awake outside of class. <sighs> wake up, Professor. We'll catch a cold, cold sleeping out here. <sighs> he's not waking up, is he? I know. Still, he's one of the, I know. Still, he is one of the top three antiquarians in France. He's particularly knowledgeable about medieval France. They say he got, he's got ties with the big noble houses. What's more? You don't say. Thanks for the info. I guess we'll have to wait for him to wake up if we're going to get any answers. <laughs> well, good luck with that. I can vouch for his knowledge. I can't guarantee you won't have to wait. One of the top antiquari antiquarians in France. If we can wake him up, maybe he can help us find that pendant. Anything's better than waiting here until morning. That's it. He must wake up in the morning. Which means that we just have to make him think it's morning. Let's go back outside and see if we can't find something to do the trick. Indeed. So, back here, the thing that we missed is that there is... Roosters. And... Tons of other, like, weird things around here. Hey, I'm scoring some medals. Cool. I will actually need those for later. Well, hello there. I can interest you in one of my fi Can I interest you in one of my fine feathered friends? You'll never oversleep again. Blatant, uh, you know, what what to do type thing. Let's see what she had to say. I don't wake yet, is he? You might have to wait until tomorrow morning. You've been warned. Well, she's pretty cute. I will admit to that. Ugh, what a good night's sleep. Good morning. Morning? Ack! 
I must have gone and dozed off again. Hmm? What's this now? Hey, it's still night. Hmm? Who are you? Did you wake me up? Yes, actually. With a rooster. A rooster? That's a new one. Did you need me for something? Professor, I have a question. Have you ever heard of the Queen's Pendant? Queen's Pendant? The Queen's Pendant? You mean Marie Antoinette? Oh, sorry. I have a very important errand to run. I'm afraid I must be going. Immediately. If you want to learn more about the Queen's Pendant, I highly recommend the Paris Archives. Test the Place Vendôme. I seem to recall an article in a book titled Traditions and Treasures of the Royal Family. Have a look. Who knows? You might learn something. Thanks again for waking me up. I really must be off. Huh? He's gone. Oh, that was a waste of time. I guess we should go check out the pa Paris Archives. Hopefully this one had been a total loss. Head to the Paris Archives. So have we seen actually seen this screen? Okay. Like, I mean, each screen is different based on whether it's night or day as well. So there's the thing. That's also a thing. <laughs> Paris Archives. This place has as much history as its name would imply. It has the book we're looking for. Let's check it out. Go in the door, please. Whoops. I just, like, did a thing. My thesis is due in only a few days, and I can't write. Who ever heard of a noisy library? That librarian is constantly running this way and that every time the phone rings. How am I supposed to concentrate with all this racket? I mean, why didn't she just put the phone on her desk? That's a good question. You recorded the phone. I wonder if we'll need that for anything important. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Why am I so busy today? Oh, hello there. What brings you to the archives? We're interested in finding out a little about the er, traditions and treasures of the royal family. The traditions and treasures of the royal family. We have a book by that very title, and our special collection, actually. Oh? The special collection is through here, but only members of the Society Academic are allowed in, I'm afraid. She thinks I'm going to give up now. She's got the wrong phantom. I'll have to distract the librarian at the desk if I'm going to sneak in there. What to do? And we already know what to do because of that dude giving us a hint. The phone. Coming, coming. What is with today? Busy, busy, busy. Right. Librarian's left her post. Now's my chance. Huh? What's with this door? Hmm, it's locked. Looks like I need a secret code. The buttons must be these coins? Okay, so I crack the code and press the right buttons. They sure go to some lengths to protect a bunch of books. Whatever, let's give this a shot. Find the pattern of the changing symbols. To guess the eighth symbol in sequence and punch it in time with the rhythm. Generally pretty simple, to be honest. Oh, that was just, that was all I had to do. <laughs> that wasn't even like a hard, like, puzzle. It was the same on both. There, opened it. In we go. It looks like that librarian is still on the phone. Guess I didn't have to hurry after all. I, I guess somebody actually called the, the phone. Okay, traditions and treasures of the royal family. Wow, there are a lot of books in here. I hope I can find it. I know, fondue. See if you can get that professor's scent off any of the books in here. Well, that must be the one we want. Uh, probably this red one that's sticking out. <laughs> um, but we'll handle that in the next episode. So I do hope that you have enjoyed. Uh, if you have, feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. So that you can catch up on any episodes you might have missed. And... I will see you all next time. See you later.